People with anxiety disorders tend to focus visually on something that is scary even when there are signs of safety. This is an EEG net. Now a new University of Florida study shows people who don't have anxiety disorders respond in the same manner. UF researchers analyzed the effect of competing danger and safety cues in students while recording their brain activity. Researchers discovered when danger and safety cues appeared together, the students' brains responded the same as when only the danger cue was present. For a long time uh, in neuroscience, uh, people looked at things like the visual brain as, as simple uh, sort of reception devices, so like a simple camera lens that just passively records things that happen in the environment. Uh, it doesn't really work quite like that at all. Uh, that it's actively being changed by experience, these visual regions. So once you learn to associate something with some sort of an emotional quality, whether that emotional quality is dangerous, as in this case, or whether it's something highly pleasant or rewarding, the actual neurons in your visual brain will then change how they encode that stimulus. The discovery debunks a common belief that only people with anxiety disorders have difficulty processing visual safety stimuli and safety cues. Researchers say the findings will help lead to new therapies where people can learn to change their brain activity to better deal with mental health disorders. One of the weaknesses that we have today with uh, standard treatments in anxiety but also in depression is that a lot of people are not responding. So we believe that the additional treatment options that we can maybe provide in the future based on the research that we're doing now can fill a need and a gap because they directly target the brain activity that is a characteristic of some of these disorders. At the University of Florida, I'm Chris Bilowich.